When we look around, everything we can see is made of matter. For every type of matter, from electrons, protons, and quarks, there's a similar type of matter known as antimatter. So why aren't there piles of antimatter rocks, cars, and chocolate bars just lying around? Why does Scotty always have a little extra kicking around in his liquor cabinet? And where do I get mine? The primary difference between matter and antimatter is that they have opposite electric charge, which seems pretty mundane. The negatively charged electron has an antiparticle known as the positron, which has a positive electric charge. Antiprotons have a negative charge, and they're just flat out grumpy. We've been able to create these particles in the lab, and have even been able to create small amounts of antihydrogen consisting of a positron bound to an antiproton. When examined closely, as they were shown to have a goatee and a little colorful sash or dagger. And when we create particles in accelerators such as the Large Hadron Collider, we seem to get equal amounts of matter and antimatter. And this suggests that when particles were formed soon after the Big Bang, there should have been equal amounts of matter and antimatter. But the universe we observe is only made of matter. And here's the best part. We have no idea why. Why didn't the matter and antimatter completely annihilate each other? How could we end up with a little more matter? This delightful mystery is known as baryon asymmetry. We do have a few ideas, and by we I mean some giant brain crackerjacks have come up with a few plausible options. The most popular is that somehow antimatter behaves a little differently than matter. And this could cause an imbalance between matter and antimatter. After particles collided in the early universe, there would still be matter left over, hence the matter we observe. Another idea is that the observable universe just happens to be in a region dominated by matter. Other parts of the multiverse could have observable universes dominated by antimatter. Baryon asymmetry is one of the big mysteries of modern cosmology. There's an even crazier idea. Antimatter might have anti-gravity. In other words, an atom of antihydrogen would fall up instead of down. And if that's the case, then matter and antimatter would repel each other. And you might have matter universes and antimatter universes that are forever separate. There have been some initial experiments to test this idea, but so far, there have been no conclusive results. So where's all our antimatter? And how do we track it down? I'd sure love to bring some home and show my friends. So what do you think? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen. I'd like to thank Bill Grosner, Robin Taylor, and the rest of the members who support us creating great space and astronomy content for the world to view for free. If you want to get in on the action and join our community, click here. You get advanced access to episodes, video extras, and behind the scenes goofballery and participation in contests and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. So click right here and head on over to Patreon. For every type of non functioning remote controls,